This bathroom always smells of mom's perfume. Mom hates it when I leave the toilet seat up, but it's my little way of rebelling against the system. I look like hell. I'll bet these pills are just placebos Dr. Sims prescribed so that I think he's doing some good. I think I'll skip a shower today. Bathing seems like such an effort lately. Where's the bathroom?
Eden is neck deep in bath water and foam bubbles. Her eyes are half closed as she relaxes in the hot water. The walls show signs for unisex and unispecies bathrooms. Or maybe it means vertebrates and invertebrates. Or perhaps people who exhibit orderly responses to the Rorschach test, as opposed to people who have abstract responses to them. All right, I gotta confess. I can't make heads nor tentacles of it. There's someone in that stall. Severe grunting from the stalls indicates that this is an inappropriate time to strike up any conversations. Maybe they've got a case of Vohal's revenge. <laughs> Vohal's revenge? Get it? The writing etched on the wall is in various languages. One large message reads, For a good time, call the Helmet Master. Came in here to unleash a beast, just to find my colon creased. Scott, is it done yet? Get out of the head and back to work. Christmas doesn't move. Beware, the Tadpole Master lurks. T. Bendroheisen was here. Vohal sucks. Someone has tried in vain to cross it out. The sound comes from one of the occupied stalls, you think. Suddenly, one of your senses downloads an extremely negative air quality report. For some reason, the name John springs to mind. Sure thing, I can do that. Oh, oh, jeez. The smell isn't going away even when I cover my nose. No! Oh god, why? Why did I just do that? What was the point of that? I can taste it in the back of my throat. It's like hangover barf meets burnt pot roast. Oh no, it's burning my eyes like some kind of, like some kind of napalm. Like some kind of napalm made out of pure stank. Sweet or rat on a stick, why? Why would I do something that stupid? Why? No one else has, and it would probably be risky to attempt without a flotation device handy. You take some of the toilet paper. You never know when it's going to come in handy. The faucets aren't operational. Vohal doesn't seem big on personal hygiene. Darn, another pimple. You push it and enjoy the warm air, getting a chill afterward as you're reminded how cold everything is on the asteroid base. This one looks like a quad port high performance urinal manifold, especially useful for those multitudinously equipped. Also used in a pinch by up to four single-digit beings when the place is really packed. Unbeknownst to the rest of the family, Willie uses the sink to bathe horny. This may explain Tiffany's wart problem. Assorted cosmetic gook of Tiffany Beamish, including but not limited to three tubes of Zet Off, two compacts, four shades of lipstick, four shades of eyeshadow, two eyebrow markers, morning face cream, noon face cream, afternoon face cream, evening face cream. There's a small inscription on the toilet which reads, If you sprinkle when you tinkle, be a sweetie and wipe the seedy. The roll of biodegradable toffee wipe, the environmentally sound toilet tissue. Last week, Gordon gave Willie a beginner's tool set. Two days ago, Willie nailed the closet doors shut. 
yesterday, Gordon took the tool set back to the store. Tiffany hangs her towels very neatly. Willie tries to restrict exposure to his sister's cooties, so he hangs his towels on his bedroom floor. Thank <laughs> you. 